so you don't stain anything leave them all open that way you can have them ready to go okay i'm going to put two on one side two on another that way i have them both nearby oh my favorite color yellow definitely need yellow for the sun okay so when you use this okay, make sure that you wet your brush a little bit take off the excess water you can just tap okay and if you feel it's still too wet then that's why you have your paper towel just press it a little bit okay get a little bit of whatever color you're going to be using first i suggest that you start um from the inside out okay that's just easier for me but you can start any way you want so i'm going to use this for my petals okay i'm using just the tip the edge since this brush is a little bit too thick i'm just using the edges you see how i'm just using the edges i don't have to use the whole thing now if you think this brush is a little bit too thick and too much for your tiny little hands no problem grab a q-tip and you can do the same see get some yellow and i'll do the same on this side oops i got some paint on me be careful you see it works the same way you could dab that okay now when you use your q-tip you cannot use the same side with a different color just make sure you turn it around okay that way you don't mix your colors and it doesn't become a bit messy now you can also explore color if you want and mix the colors to create new ones right that it's up to you but that sounds more like a science project doesn't it oh look at how cute it's looking i'm liking it then i'm going to use the other side there we go now don't lay this down on mommy's table use one of the lids you see how i have one of the lids from from the paint put it on top okay so that you don't get your table messy okay so now let's continue you can color this any way you want okay so i think i'm going to go with blue next oh i'm liking this q-tip just seems easier to use ah look at that doesn't that look nice grab some more when you feel like you're running out can't wait for this to be over because here in my house we're going to create a little altar for our loved ones and i'm definitely gonna have this decoration up so that it shows my love for my grandparents and how much i miss them and so they can see that i always i will always remember them i in my the image that i will always have in my in my head with me and in my heart is my grandparents working in their garden cutting, watering, talking to their plants. They were they would even love to sing to their plants. They would spend hours and hours in their garden. They're so patient. Just like we are being patient right now and trying to do this as careful as possible. Look at that voila doesn't that look beautiful now i want to use another color i don't have red but i'll use orange but boys and girls if you feel like you really want a different color that you might not have available if you have markers go for it you can use those too look at that nice Hearts don't always have to be red. It could be any color. I like it. Okay, so now what color do I want? I think I want an orange flower now instead of 
yellow. I think I want an orange flower now. There we go. Then remember that green one that I used before? Oops. Uh oh, don't do what I did. I dropped it, but that's okay. I will fix that in a little bit. See? Voila. Mm. So remember that I said whatever is on one side needs to be on the other side? Well, I'm just going to do that. Make it look the same. No problem. Since I made a little boo boo there. It's okay. See? Now it looks like I did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then what color do I want now? Now I think I want this whole plant right here. Green. There we go. Now, if you decide to use the brush, I'm going to show you right now how you can clean it before you use a different color. That way you don't mix your colors and you don't mix it on your plate either. Okay. And this one, I'm just going to do a really light yellow because I'm going to put a jewel on top of it anyways. Hopefully it dries fast. There we go. Okay. The teeth, I was thinking that since I don't have black paint, I'm just going to put a little shadow like this. See? A little shadow. Teeth. There we go. Now it looks a little bit better. There we go. Now take your time. If you need a break, go ahead and press pause. And then you come back to your work. No problem. Okay, I think in the inside I'm done. So now I'm going to go to the outside. So here we go. I want my leaves. Oh, I said I was going to show you the brush, right? So here it is. Remember how I had to use yellow? You need to make sure that you put it in the water. Tap, 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 so that water, that all that paint can go away. Tap, 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 tap. Then tap on the top for the excess water. Clean it on your paper towel. And then go ahead and paint. See, I'm using the edges. Okay, see that? And then you want to change colors, you do it again. Okay, tap, 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 take it off. Tap on the top. Take off the excess water on your paper towel and then grab a different color. Okay, very simple, right? Okay, but I'm going to continue with my Q-tips. I just felt that they were a bit easier for me. Okay. Yellow. You're going to continue like that until you are done with everything. Sun. And I'm going to put a little bit of orange as well for the rays of the sun. Just to add some color. I like bright colors. Do you? Yellow is my favorite as I mentioned before. Yep. It just makes me happy. Okay, and like I said, the rain was important for these plants. So here we are, adding some raindrops. I don't have gray for a cloudy day, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue. I'm not even gonna color it all, just a little bit. See that? There we go. I like it so far, what about you? Okay, so boys and girls, I'm going to stop here.
but I want you to finish decorating and coloring all. Then once it dries, make sure that you don't forget about this. It has to dry. Once it dries, then you can put some jewelry on your decoration to make it pop even more. Now, mine is not dry, but just for the purpose of showing you how to do this, I'm going to put a couple of jewels, okay? But make sure that you paint it on and that you let it dry, okay? You can probably let it dry overnight and then come back to it tomorrow, okay? So here are the jewels. You can take them off. And they have, they're supposed to be adhesive, already have a little bit of glue behind. So just press it down. Press it down. And look at that. Doesn't that make it look nice and bright? Oh, it's too tiny. That's why you can't see it. But I have bigger ones. Um, I think I'm going to put this nice pink one right here, right in the middle. Look at that. Now that's a nice bright one. Nice and big. Press it down. Oh, I like it. I really like it. Okay, then I think I'm going to put another one on this side. Another one on this side. So remember, symmetrical. Whatever you do on one side, you do to the other. Just be careful with your paint. I got some on my finger, but it's okay. I'll take it off right now. I like it. And I have. You have different sizes. Use them as you need to, as you want, as much as you want. Do you have to use them all? No, really. Use as many as you feel your skull needs. Okay, there we go. Yay, I, I really, really like it. It's going to look so good on the altar. Okay, then maybe I was thinking that these tiny ones, I could put them as decoration for the tea. Yeah, oh, oh yes. Maybe I'm going to do a pattern. Skip one and put one. Skip one. Oh, yes, I'm loving this. By the way, just in case you don't recognize my voice, <laughs> my name is Miss Rivas. I'm a kindergarten teacher. There you go. So, again, boys and girls, it's not done. But you finish it on your own, finish painting the outside, finish putting jewelry on it, but make sure you let it dry. Padres de familia, si me están escuchando, no acabé de pintar, pero les digo a los niños que ellos continúen pintando todo alrededor, que lo dejen secar, si pueden, déjenlo secar en la noche, y para el siguiente día pueden regresar a ponerle las joyitas para que brille uh, su esqueleto un poquito más. Y como les estaba diciendo los niños, para el Día de los Muertos, mucha gente hace lo que es ofrendas, un altar que representa un ser querido que hemos perdido en nuestra vida. En mi caso son mis abuelitos y por eso dibujé plantas, el sol, el agua, porque para ellos su jardín era su vida. Se pasaban todo el día en el jardín. Les cantaban a sus plantas, les platicaban a sus plantas. Me encantaba. Yo también podría pasar horas o simplemente viéndolos a atender su jardín. Entonces, esto tiene símbolos que representan a mis abuelitos. Ya que acaben y que se sequen, y si ustedes también hacen un altar en su casa, lo pueden poner allí uh, como una ofrenda y uh, como decoración. Espero y les haya gustado. Y si puedes, me mandas una foto. Te voy a dar mi correo electrónico para que me puedas mandar una foto de tu trabajo. ¿Listos? I'm going to send you my email so that if you guys can please, 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 pretty please, send me a picture of your skull. I'm really excited 